Om Tat Sat, my humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman, to my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotirmayanandaji Ji Maharaj, to Divine Mother, and to all sages and saints, and to each of you divine soul watching today's satsang. We are studying the scripture, Mysticism of Devi Mahatmaya, Worship of God as Mother, Commentaries by my Guruji, Swami Jyotirmayanandaji Ji Maharaj, narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So let's get started. Today, we will be studying uh, the destruction of Dhumralochana. So the messenger Sugriva returned to Shumbha and told him what Devi had said. So those of you who are listening to this uh, video for the first time, please know we have a series going on and you may want to go back to the prior videos to get the uh, full context of uh, the Devi and her um, fighting with the demons. So. Shumbha was infuriated when uh, he was told what the Devi had said. So he called one of his generals, Dhumra Lochana, uh, who was a valiant hero. He said to him, to Dhumra Lochana, there lives a beautiful lady in the Himalayas. Please go and bring her to me as soon as possible by adopting whatever means you deem fit. Even if she desires to fight, you should bring her here by defeating her. Being thus commanded, Dhumra Lochana proceeded to meet Devi. Dhumra means smoke. Lochana means eyes. So he was a demon with smoky eyes. Finding the radiantly beautiful Devi, he said to her, O Devi, come with me to my Lord. If you do not, I will take you by force. I have come with an army of 60,000 soldiers. Devi said, O hero, I know that the king of demons has sent you here. If you want to kill me or force me to go with you, what can I do? But I cannot go with you unless you fight with me and defeat me. As soon as Dhumra Lochana heard this, he rushed to take Devi by force. But the great goddess simply uttered, hm! and the demon was reduced to ashes. Then the army pounced upon the Devi with innumerable weapons, but her lion sprang upon them and killed many. The remaining soldiers ran away and brought the news of the destruction of Dhumralochana to King Shumbha and his brother Nishumbha. Hearing this news, Shumbha became infuriated. He commanded Chanda and Munda, uh, the great heroes, to quickly go to the palace and the place where the lady abides and bring her here, dragging her by her hair. Take with you a vast army. If you cannot bring her here, kill her and then return. This was the order of Shumbha to this general Dhumralochana. So we will be covering more of this um, story tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying this wonderful uh, mysticism of the Devi Mahatmaya, goddess of um, mysticism of the Devi, worship of God as mother. So if we uh, read this and listen to this with faith and devotion, you will see your heart expand and uh, there are deeper meanings. Do not consider them just as allegorical uh, stories. Uh, the main goal of all these scriptures are to evolve and to understand our role in this world and how these things play in our personality. And so we cover the mystical meanings also. So if you are listening to each section regularly, you will start to um, enjoy this nectar more and more. This is Swami Nikhilananda. Om Tat Sat.